LEDs are fun to play with, RGB LEDs even more, and the addressable RGB LEDs are tons of fun and are really easy to use and this is what this tutorial is all about. What you're seeing right now are 8 LEDs that are controlled by Arduino Uno and they are set a random color every 200 milliseconds. I'll go over the code later on, but now let's go see how it looks like, how we connect it, and we'll move to the code later. If you find this video useful, please like it and share it and subscribe to my channel. The addressable comes in many shapes and forms, uh, like these sticks that I've been using so far. You can get them as single LEDs like this. You can get them on a reel. And you can see here I got 8x8. Eight eight. It's 8 rows with 8 LEDs on each row. Um, and you can just connect them. I'll, I'll point the camera to the strip itself so I can show you the writing here. It's really hard to do it without focusing it from the beginning. So the great thing about uh, the addressable is that you only need three wires. You need VCC, which the best is to supply 5 volt. You need ground and you need a data line. Um, we got a library that will allow you to control each LED with the color you like and send the data to those LEDs and get them set with the color you chose. So this is the back side. As you can see, there is ground. After that, there is D in, which is data in, and then you got VCC. And on the other side, you got the same things, ground and D out. And then again, you got the VCC. And the reason for the D out is because you can put another strip here and another strip and as many as you like. There's a limitation and that's for the memory of the microcontroller and not the actual LEDs. Um, they will consume about 50 milliamps per LED so it does accumulate really fast when they're fully bright. So do, um, do consider the current that you're supplying to it. Uh, do not use it directly from the Arduino from, with more than like four or five LEDs on it. I'm, uh, I'm doing it with eight here, <clears throat> but I'm limiting myself to the, light, to the amount of brightness I'm giving to each LED. So let's plug it in and get it working. Okay, so I'm going to take the five volt and stick it in the five volt ground. And the data pin, in our case, goes to pin number three. Sorry, this one here. After we took care of the hardware, now let's go take of the, let's take care of the software. So go to Sketch, include libraries, and manage libraries. This is the easiest way to install a library that you know you want on your system. So we are looking for fast LED, and there you go. Click on install here, and done. We're installed. Excellent. Now let's get the first example running. So go to File, Examples, scroll down, you see Fast LED, and choose the blink. It opens in another window in my computer. Okay. So let's, let's go over the code really fast. Uh, we're including the library, and then we're setting the number of LEDs to be one. I know I'm having, I have eight connected, but this example is, um, in any case, changing the color of only one LED, and I'll show you it in the code for a second. We get a data pin, which is three. In our case, we connected the D in uh, from the LED strip to pin number three on the Arduino. Since this library is made for some other chips as well, some of them have a clock pin, and you can define it here. You can just leave it here or remove it as you like. And then we're defining an object uh, of type CRGB, and its name, its array name, LEDs with with ent with number of LEDs entities, which is in our case will be one. Now let's go over the setup. You can see a lot of lines that are commented out here. This is for the different chipset that they have within the LEDs. In our case, we're using the NeoPixel, which is the one that was commented out uh, uncommented from before. So this is the definition. As you can see, if this is the type, this is the pin to where it's connected, this is the object that's containing the information, and this is the number of LEDs, this is how you defined it. And then the last thing we do, we'll go over is the loop. As you can see, it's defining LED 0, the, the first entity within LEDs. As you remember, our array starts with 0, and it gives it the color of red. 
then it's uh, sh showing. What, does, what this does is actually send the data out from the microcontroller to the chip that is on the LED, letting it know to actually make a change within the color that is set. Then we delay for 500 milliseconds, which is half a second. And we do the same thing, just this time we're setting it to black. To black. And in, in return, what we're going to get is the first LED is going to just blink in red. So I'm going to upload the code and show that to you. And as you can see, our first LED is blinking red. And now let's go over the code uh, that made the example I showed you in the beginning, when it's giving random color to all the eight LEDs. So this is the code. I'm including the library and I'm defining the number of, of LEDs as eight. Um, the data pin is still number three, and then defining an object array LEDs uh, number of LEDs, and then you can see I'm defining three bytes, R, G, and B. Of course, it's red, green, and blue. I'm doing the setup. I'm defining the LEDs uh, objects that I'm initiating them, and then I'm setting random seed. The random seed is made because the way random is done on, on a microcontroller, there is no true random. So if you're giving it some form of a seed, it will allow you some form of a different randomality each time you operate uh, the, the software, the running the script. And now let's go for the loop. What I'm doing here is I'm looping between zero and number of LEDs, and then I'm choosing random colors for each of the items, the R, G, and B. I'm choosing it between zero and 255. And then I'm setting the LED with that well, item that we are on the loop in to those colors. Basically, each time what I'm doing is I'm looping over the eight LEDs object and I'm setting them with a random color. And then at the end, I'm doing fast LED show and then I'm delaying for another 200 milliseconds. This is what creates the random colors. Now, Let's go upload the code, I'll show it to you again, and then we'll play with the code a little bit and see how easy it is to make change. Okay, so this is how it looks like with those random 8 set all at the same time. So now let's make some changes. Now let's apply a really small change into the code and I'll show you how a small change is really interesting when you go to the LEDs, the addressable ones. So I'm going to remove this part. So instead of setting all the eights and then setting the command to show and then delaying, I'm going to do the delay in between each one of them. Okay, so I'm going to save and upload this and I'm going to show you the difference in the actual code. So you can see first all the eights get laid up and then each one of them gets shamed. Well, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, there's a lot of other really cool features within that library. I will leave um, two links in the comments for really good resources on it. And as always, if you liked in, uh, my video, share it and like it and subscribe to my channel.